Tar spot has been an increasing concern among corn producers around the Cornhusker state. While signs of tar spot at this point in the season aren't necessarily bad news when it comes to this year's yield totals, this is a disease that will overwinter in fields, and it's always a good idea to get tabs on where it might creep up. Tar spot was first detected in the U.S. back in 2015 and has since made its way through the Midwest and into Nebraska. Nebraska Extension plant pathologist Tamara Jackson Zims tells us that extension educators are requesting that producers help researchers to keep tabs on this potentially threatening disease in order to be as vigilant as possible as we head into 2023. It spread all the way across Iowa now and it has made its way into Nebraska. And so if you look at our monitoring website on the corn IPM pipe tar spot website, you'll see that we've got more than a dozen counties lit up in gray and yellow showing where the pathogen has been confirmed and we've got tar spot development. I can tell you that it is likely more widespread than that and our goal is to make sure that we document where this disease is even in the remaining weeks that we've got left in the season. Not because we're worried about the impact on yield this year or in Nebraska, but this fungus will overwinter in Nebraska and it'll continue to develop into tar spot in subsequent years, continue to worsen and spread to new areas. And so it's important that we know where this is and that we can advise people to monitor those fields. Tar spot will thrive in environments that are cold and wet. This means there's high likelihood of seeing tar spot develop in this stage of the season, even if you haven't seen any indications of it out in your fields this year. It might especially be important to scout around your irrigation pivots. Look on the leaves for the black dots. These are fungal structures, stromata, but this is where the this is where the spores are being produced. They are splashed and blown around and that's how it's moved from other locations. And so uh, if you think you see some black spots on leaves, try to wipe those off. If they wipe off, usually it's insect frass. You might need to wet it first and rub a little vigorously, but if you can't rub that off or if it goes all the way through to the bottom side and it looks like black paint or tar has been splattered on the leaf, there's a good chance you found tar spots. So please share that with us at the UNL Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic or your local county extension educator. When scouting this particular pathogen, there are some telltale signs to be a dead giveaway for the presence of the disease in your fields. However, there are a few things to pay attention to in order to ensure you're, ma you're not making any false diagnosis. I talked about what tar spot looks like on corn leaves, but there are a few things that might be easily confused with it. And so at the end of the season, like we are now, you will commonly see black spots on, on corn leaves. These aren't rays, and these are actually on dead tissue and caused by beneficial fungi that we call saprophytes. They're very common this time of year. And if you look closely, you'll see they're not as clearly defined around the margins as what you see with a tar spot stromata or ascomata, what we're looking for. So they won't rub off either, but if you look on the side of a leaf and you look at a tar spot stromata, you're gonna notice that it looks a bit raised above the surface as uh, that fungus sticks up above there, but you may not necessarily be able to feel that.